Hey, hey everybody, good morning. Mr. Mudbug coming at you today. Guys, uh, today we're going to bring you a special treat. Uh, one of these trucks you just don't find too often. This is a Suzuki Scissor Dump Pickup Truck Combo. This, uh, let, me, let me just kind of go ahead around here and show you what we've done. Let's get it, dude. Guy's coming to get it right now. So Anyway, we're going to start right up in the front. You're going to see we did that brush guard up there. Really nice, clean. Omar does all our welding here. Done a hell of a fine job. It looks really, really great. And uh, you see Mason does most of the wire. As you can see how clean that is. Always sharp looking, man. Always super clean. Man, we take a lot, a lot of pride in just doing things right, man. It's very difficult to find today and uh, kind of shape these guys to how I would do it, uh, you know, when I'm doing the job. And I think they're just kind of following along and they're doing a great job at doing it. But... Uh, Really nice looking. As you can see, it sits up really high. We've got our super lift on it. Got our 450 progressive cars up front. HD shocks in the rear. And our supreme lift kit, man. This thing is really nice. And we do offer lifetime warranty, guys, with our lift kit. If it's going to buy one of our super lifts, guys, it does have to come into my shop. Because it does require a lot of cutting and other things, specialty work. But we will offer a lifetime warranty with it. I don't know what rims we we're working with today, guys. I, unfortunately, I have so many styles, I can't remember them all. But I can tell you that the tire is a, uh, is a super grip, and it is the, the model is the K9. The truck's in excellent shape. I'm going to show you some of the imperfections we found on it, which I didn't realize was here until a little bit later on after we had already started working on it. It was on the lift. But anyway, you can see how tall this thing is. Just absolutely incredible in height. He didn't do a lot of stuff to it, but what he did we think was important. You can see he did the bed liner in the back, which is nice. Always clean and sharp. Again, beautiful. Everything we do in-house except the upholstery guys. And currently we are, we have our own upholstery shop open. Uh, we built, we're, we're learning. We're not uh, actually open for business, but we're all learning together. Great, great looking little truck. I'm going to just go ahead and open the door up right quick. Interior is in mint condition. And guys, these trucks are very difficult to find. Uh, in fact, this is the first one I've had, and I bought it in October. This is, and it's March. I just got it here. If you know anything about the mini truck business, you know how slow things have been for us as far as uh, getting, uh, you know, inventory in. But uh, we're constantly ordering daily. Now, you'll see it does have that five speed. Like all my trucks, it's going to have that high-low transfer case. Uh, just really really nice everything like you know air conditioned heat i don't do anything less and right there you'll see is the winch button okay and again interior is in mint condition i mean it's not brand new truck guys it does have around 10 11 000 miles on it but overall i give it a nine and a half out of ten now what i didn't know was some imperfections in this door and you couldn't really see it and you still can't see it it's very difficult to catch maybe i can catch it in just the right light but it does have some Waving this to the door. It looks like they try to do some repair on it. I mean it don't look bad It's just not what I would normally bring in uh, It didn't show up in any of the photos at auction uh, But uh, unfortunately, it's just something that that happened and I'm hoping the owner understands if he doesn't then I will Refund him his little deposit and I'll uh, go ahead and put it on the market uh, But uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna take it because these things are hard to find and a dent uh, that's in the door, the waviness that's in the door. And again, it's very difficult to see. I don't even know if you can catch it on camera. I didn't even catch it. They were lifting it and everything else before we even noticed it. So uh, I just happened to see it in the right light in the shop. But it's very difficult to see unless you kind of look at it at the right angle. But again, super, super clean. Truck is running at this time. Whisper quiet, which makes it a phenomenal hunting vehicle. And they're great all around use. Awesomeness, man. I'm going to show you guys a little something right here. Check this out. Let me see if this is it right here. If you've never seen this before, you're going to love this. Oh, I'll tell you what, let's start off with the dump, and I'm going to show you the dump. That way we can, I can show you how it works. Uh, let's see. All right, first of all, check it out. First of all, you get a pickup truck, guys. That's number one. The sides come down like any standard pickup truck. This is the HD model, so you'll notice the bed is much thicker than your standard pickup truck bed. And with the extra height on this thing, on this, uh, with our lift kits, this thing is actually reaching the 8-foot mark. Now, you can see this is the dump truck. I'm going to back away and walk around just so you can 
kind of get a good perspective of this thing in case you haven't seen one before. You talk about handy. This is handy as a third arm. I mean, look at this, guys. And this is just the dump truck. This is not even the scissor part. I'm going to open that up for you, too, in a minute. But right now, I just wanted you to get a good vibe on what it looks like for the dump truck. Awesomeness. Take a look, too, guys. Check this out. If you need a truck, right here, Mr. Mudbug. Mudbugminitrucks.com. 832-951-5220. And if you see the truck in the parking lot, or maybe it's on a work uh, a job somewhere, just scan this thing with your Q-Scanner, and it'll take you straight to our inventory. Currently, we do have a deck van, a couple pickup trucks. I think I have one more scissor lift that was my personal truck. I'm actually tricking it out now, and uh, I'm probably going to put that one on the market here, too just because my inventory is low. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down. So if you need one, guys, I'm telling you, watch. My deer blinds in the back. On my video for my truck, when I go to put it for sale, I'm gonna throw that deer blind in the back. So y'all can see what it looks like. Talk about a killing machine. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna let this thing down. All right, now, simple operation. People always, Wonder how this thing works so simply. Really, it's just this little handle right here. You boop, you push it forward just like that, and check it out. Watch this. You're gonna have yourself a third truck, a scissor lift. And dude, this thing is crazy tall. Again, I'm gonna do a walk around just so you can see how tall this thing is compared to some of the surroundings. I promise you guys, you put a deer blind in this thing, sitting in a chair, you're 12 feet off the ground. All right, and I'm going to try and close this door, so back up on it, take a look. Take a look at this, dude. If you've never seen one, this thing is really, really cool. If you've seen one, you know how cool it is, or if maybe you own one, you know how cool this thing really is. That thing is right, uh, about eight feet off the ground currently. They do have some stands back here. That's another question I get. Uh, they do have these stabilizers back here. Oh, you see right there, you pull those pins out and stabilize it. You probably have to bring a 4 by 4 block. Now that we have, uh, we put that super lift on there, but just really, really cool. Again, the truck is in mint condition, except for the waviness on the doors. There's no rust or anything on it. Phenomenal, beautiful little truck. Awesomeness, all righty. I'm gonna go ahead and open the cab and just, oh, I think I might have showed you the cab. I'll tell you what, since we're over here, let's go ahead and open this door and show you everything in there. So you know how everything functions. Anyway, uh, you know, awesomely cool. And this is your button that controls uh, that bed. And it's very simple. You simply push the button down, and you'll see the bed is coming down. And again, guys, I, I have one left that's my personal one. It doesn't have any miles on it either. It's brand new. I say brand new, but it's like a 2020. But it don't have no miles because my land only have 27 acres. I don't drive too far. But uh, just awesome looking. Again, AC and heat. There's all your controls, your file speed. Just great looking, guys. All right. So, again, I'm not going to keep you any longer, guys. But you'll see I do have various trucks coming in here. Uh, I don't know if you all see back there right now. Currently, I have two, four. I have about eight trucks here, that's about it. I have nine or 10 more in order, but I do have Mitsubishi over there for parts. I'm getting ready to do the upholstery on, uh, and I've got a deck van back there. I'm gonna, uh, we're working on rebuilding that brand new engine on it. And I have a 2000, I wanna say a 2017 Suzuki. That thing's got 2000 miles on it, and the transmission actuator will not talk to the engine. But that thing, that truck is brand new if you know somebody might need an engine or something out of it. Or the transmission, I don't know if, it, maybe to work with another truck. Star of the show today, guys, is my Suzuki scissor lift. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to hold you any longer. If you're not subscribing, guys, hit the subscribe button. Put the little icon on there. If you like the content, we'd love to hear from you. And to all my TikTok fans, man, check it out, guys. Always great to hear from you, man. Love the response, you guys. Always, always got cool things to say on TikTok. Um, uh, but uh, at any rate, guys, I'm not going to hold you any longer. Thank you all so much for viewing. As usual, man, uh, God bless you guys. Uh, and howdy from Texas. Till next time, y'all take care.